Uh, about another Venus fly trap. This is how to transplant. I got it out of the package finally. I took it out of the bottom. I had this around. I had to, once I got it out, this was still on there. Gotta be real careful taking it out. And I squeezed this over the uh, pieces of plant. I got a pot here. And it's got sphagnum moss, uh, potting soil. And I added some of the sand with rocks. Just sand with pebbles. I couldn't find any perlite without the miracle grow in it, so might have to redo it later. But I just mixed it all together. I got regular potting soil. I got the that the sand with little rocks in it. That's kind of like perlite and the. Uh, this is like separate mixes. This is a potting soil. And this looks like that. Got that all mixed together. And I got a bag of sphagnum moss I cut from some that grows near me. Uh, I started getting the plant out of the pot here. And I'm just going to kind of mix a little more sphagnum moss in here in the hole. Right, just look like that. I'm going to slide this out. I already got started, so it's easier to put on video. And then Before I just tipped it up to where it slid out and I kind of squeezed the sides and it came out but you want to soak the plant real well and the sphagnum moss that comes in before that and the soil uh, is just distilled water in the spray ball you want to soak the soil I already soaked it some around where I'm putting it in here I guess I should soak it a little more with the where I put that in. I'll soak it real well and then put the uh, core of the Venus fly trap mix and plant that came from the store in the center. I got one of these pots with a full way to feed it there and the or the and a drainage system so that the plant doesn't get waterlogged. Uh, you just want to kind of mix the soils and sand together and sphagnum moss. Get the plant in the center. Tap it down. Soak it real good. So I'm just going to Take some of my sphagnum moss here and put it around the plant. I've done this and then I put sand over it too. It works too. It just at least this has got to be uh, in the soil. The sphagnum moss and. Um, it's gonna have. I, I could put sand around the top too to keep the sphagnum moss in. You want all the leaves above it though. I'm kind of get messy here getting the leaf under it. But let's pack this in some. More sphagnum moss around it. Many beer spots, pack it in there. It could be covered with sand or pebbles later to kind of hold it down. I'm just going to pack it in until it's soaked a while and kind of looks a little off color. And then I might put some sand or pebbles over it. I'm just going to leave it like this for now and soak it real good. Try to make sure the plant's not uh, smothered by the 
stuff on it. And it took all the sphagnum moss real well so it holds the water. Oh, like this one. I'm trying to get the pieces of sphagnum moss off. So it might take just squirting a little water to get them off. But this one should be good to go. I got a I got a different one. I got a Got a different time. I got this one I've had for about a year, year and a half. Uh, probably about a year since last spring I've had this one. It's starting to bud some. I figure I better get another one for it to be near. So I'm going to use this to just cover this plant a few days to kind of keep the moisture in and just water it. It's got a little hole in the top. They say they put holes in it before, uh, if it has no holes like that one there to maybe open the top or put some holes like a, a week or two first, like a little bit of holes. And then uh, if the air is not real moist, a few more holes after like a week and keep watering it, of course. And then uh, after that, it should be fine to take the covering off. But I just got this one today, so I'm going to cover it with this one that came with the different one. I'll just get the leaves here all inside of it and that's what it'll look like after that. Sorry I had to set the camera down to be able to film it, but oh, this one's a little, a little smushed. But let's get the uh, container over it and. Keep it like that and make sure it's in the sun for a while. I accidentally triggered some of the pods on that one. And should be all right. Just keep it like, uh, like I only got this one today. So it'd be better for me to kind of insulate it from the dry air and water it some more here. Through this hole I put in the top that I drilled. And around the side. Basically, just keep it real moist, especially the first month or two, and make sure it stays pretty moist after that, even. And then, uh, just in case, about these trays, they're like four for a dollar at Dollar General uh, to sit the pot in so I don't overfill it and uh, get water everywhere. But uh, basically, I uh, probably just keep that lid thing, uh, or I mean the top thing from the other one on there, like a, maybe like a week, and then pull it off there. Hopefully, the plant does all right. I know this is like the trickiest phase of having ones, the transplanting and getting the moisture right and the potting mix right and the. Uh, sunlight and the humidity right but this helps with the humidity i live in a state where it's pretty humid so and it just rained some last night so it's pretty humid but i'm just going to do this just in case and for like a week i'll just leave that on and after that i'll slide it off of there uh, uh hopefully this video helps on um, how to transplant a venus flytrap